Today we're taking a look at Wig She's Hat Fall Wig in the color Light Ash Blonde. The hair is so beautiful and long and soft. Let's take a look at the cap. The first thing I notice is the silicone band at the top. This helps the hat fall wig stay in place. It also has a closed wefting, which is excellent because there is nothing more annoying to me than those little hairs poking through open wefting. This cap design also does not require any adjuster tabs or hooks. It's just the stretchy material making it super comfortable. So she is a little on the snug side. I did order the small, so that was my own fault. <laughs> I My measurement is 21 and a half, and so it seemed as though the small would fit me better. I have another hat fall wig that is too large on me. So it's a little tight, but it actually fits really well. There's no bunching back here, unlike my other hat fall wig by a different brand. Um, so it is snug. I would not wear a wig grip underneath this. There is no need. This thing is not going anywhere. Um, I do really like this one compared to my other hat fall wig. It's a lot lighter. It just feels a lot like a lot less hair. I don't know about you, but for myself, when I am wearing a new topper or a new wig, I always want something lower density because I'm just not used to having a ton of hair anymore. So this for me feels more like my own hair. I would absolutely trim it um, so that it is even, but I'd also probably put some layers into her and trim it up just a little bit so that I can continue wearing my toppers and it doesn't look like one day I have really long hair and the other day my hair's like right around here. Let's talk about the color. Um, I believe that this was listed as a light ash blonde. To me, the color is a lot more platinum blonde. Um, it is a beautiful blonde, but it's a little bit less ashy than I had anticipated. Now they did have some rooting. As you can see, this is the actual cap right here. Um, and this is the rooting. So there is rooting all the way around. It's not, a blended rooting so you can there'll definitely be some like harsh lines not that your hat won't be covering those harsh lines but it's something to be aware of if you wanted to wear a scarf around that area you just have to be careful of that harsh line um, I would probably take this to my stylist when I have her trim it and put some face face framing layers in I would probably also have her blend that out a little bit and throw maybe some uh, low lights in just to kind of make it a little bit more like me. My hair is not quite this platinum blonde. So just something to be aware of. The blonde is beautiful, but it's a little bit more on the platinum blonde side than the ashy blonde. I went ahead and put her into a low bun for you so you can see what she looks like. Okay, let's talk about what we did. I obviously chopped quite a bit of length off of her. My stylist added some low lights um, to kind of help that tone be a little less platinum, a little bit more ashy. And I went through, and I actually did this. I haven't done this before, so it was a little risky, but I tried to go through and thin it out myself. And I actually thinned it out quite a bit. I'll show you a picture of just how much hair came out of this. I think because I chopped the length, I did have to thin it out a little bit. Otherwise, that blunt cut was just too poofy. So here we have her on. But just look at how beautiful she is, how perfect it is for what I'm looking for. I am so thrilled with how she came out. I threw some curls in her. She's just beautiful. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna tuck it behind my ears and incorporate some of my bio hair so that you can see what that looks like. Interesting question. <laughs> Siri's trying to insert herself again. Okay, so if I tuck her behind the ears and I incorporate just a little bit of my bio hair, do we see already how much better that blend is from where it started? So this just goes to show what a little customization can do for the overall look and feel of your wig. And we'll throw a hat on. And she is just adorable. 
am so, so happy with how she turned out. Um, it's the perfect length for how I wear. Currently, I'm wearing my toppers. Um, I'm typically wearing toppers most of the time. I would say 90% of the time I wear toppers. And so I wanted a hat fall wig that was the same length as my hair so that I can go from my topper one day to my hat fall wig another day. And there's no transition with how much hair I have. And this has just hit the mark across the board. I am so thrilled. One thing I do want to note, sometimes when you buy human hair pieces and you customize them, in other words, you are adding color to them, for whatever reason, it changes the texture of the hair. That is not the case with this piece. I was able to have my stylist add color to it and she actually did it a couple times and it hasn't changed the texture or the feel of the hair. So that to me is really important. That tells me that it's a higher quality piece, um, even though it's a budget piece. Let's throw her up into a little pony. Like I said, I chopped off a ton of hair. That may not be what you want to do, but for me, it was just the right fit. And she's adorable. I am in love. Super soft, super comfortable. And I can go through in a little bit more detail in another video what I did to her, but basically I spent quite a bit of time thinning out the hair. Anytime you're thinning out the hair on a topper or a wig, I do a little bit at a time and then I walk away. And then I come back and I try it on and I play with it and then I thin it out again. And then I walk away and then I come back and do the same thing over and over and over again because the worst thing you can do is take away too much hair. You can always take away more later, but you can't put it back on. So I always take mini breaks in between my thinning sessions. Also, I have small children, so that's just the way I have to do things in general, but that tends to work out really well for me. So the amount that I thinned this piece was perfect for me, but it'll be different for every person. If you have any questions about this hat fall wig by Wigshi, please comment below and I'd be happy to get back to you. I love questions. Um, I think they're so important when you are searching for a quality human hair piece that you ask all the questions because you don't know until you get it what it's going to feel like, what it's going to look like. And the best way to figure that out is by asking questions. So ask below if you have any questions. Otherwise, subscribe for more wig and topper tips and content.